Australia's share market hits a brand new record all-time high following US stocks higher with the Russell 2000 up the most overnight, 1.6%, hitting its highest level since November 2021, while the blue chip index, the Dow Jones, also hit a new record. So what's happening in markets? Well, investors are buying into the weakness from the prior session. Indeed, we saw that with investors buying the chip dip. NVIDIA shares rose 3.1% overnight, while investors more broadly have been buying into somewhat everything and anything in the S&P 500 that's had really strong momentum this year. Now, this is quite typical of a bull market. Energy and uranium company Vistra, their shares up 6% overnight, taking their yearly gain to 257%. They're outpacing NVIDIA's gain. Meanwhile, we are seeing small cap stocks rally, and that's on potential tax cuts after the billionaire investor Druck and Miller said that markets are pricing in a Trump win. But I think he's probably looking at the polls and betting companies that are pricing in a Trump win indeed. So what do you need to watch today and consider? Well, firstly, Australia's second biggest company, BHP, reported quarterly results and output. And uh, all metrics, key metrics, were up copper output up the most, about 3%. Meanwhile, BHP said it's still making, um, it's seeing signs of still making rather stabilising. And that's one reason that the key steel making ingredient, iron ore, has moved up 1% today. Secondly, let's talk US earnings. It's been far better than expected so far. And that's another factor that's supporting markets. Overnight, Morgan Stanley shares soared almost 7% higher, seeing its biggest jump in four years. It comes as their profits rose far more than expected. Get this, their wealth unit rose by 64 billion US dollars and their net assets um, have indeed soared more than the entire value of ANZ Bank on the ASX. Now let's finish with a big picture for you to consider. The US election, yes, it's weeks away. Volatility probably could pick up, but it's really important to pay attention to the patterns of this bull market. It seems that the S&P 500, every time it dips, um, it then rallies. So maybe look for pullbacks as opportunity to buy. Keep an eye on Thursday's US retail sales numbers and US jobless claims. And of course, don't forget to watch Netflix earnings.